for Megan though, it's got nothing to do with her cosmetic surgery. There's a lot else wrong with her. She's a bad one. Anyway, not that I've been watching or anything like that. Uh, good morning to all of you at home. It's your views that count, not mine necessarily. So if you would like to get involved, then head to Facebook or Twitter and search for The Right Stuff. You could also email us, therightstuff, at channel5.com. But we want those calls, and that number is 0207 862 and I'll repeat that so you can make a note. It's 0207 862 222. Calls from landlines may cost up to 13 pence per minute, plus any call setup fees and calls from mobiles may cost considerably more. You can also text us, just put TWS, follow by your comment, and send that to 85525. Text will cost 25 pence plus the standard network charge, but remember, all messages will make it on screen. Are you a Love Island expert? Yes. Yes, I can be your correspondent for the okay. day. I have watched every episode this so year. So Megan's an interesting character. Not interesting. No, oh. that's not the word I would use to describe her. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. Well, she's coming on tomorrow. You'll love her. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. She's still on. We have always known how good George Michael is. Big fan of Lance. Yeah. Born in the wrong decade, I think, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so first up, do you think that MP Andrew Griffiths should be quitting? After his sexting scandal, well, Mandy tweets that his wife will deal with his incident. Andrew says, Get Griffiths, then do give us a call. That's quite a hard name to say. Griffiths. Griffiths, it is, Griffiths. isn't it? Yeah, especially in the morning. Mm-hmm. After that, what do you make of kids as young as four being taught about consent in schools? Leanne thinks it's a great idea. Could you play an alarm so that only under 25s can hear in order to keep your neighbour's kids in check? Jeanne asks, does the alarm affect... And finally, is there anything wrong with splashing out on plastic surgery? JP tweets us, messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah because we've got a provider of said surgeries coming, coming in. in. So we can put that very point too, then. Yeah, great. Well, I've done it again. Every time. <laughs> Not everybody wants them to go. So Rachel says, as one of his constituents, I think he... And we are really keen to hear any of his constituents, yourself or anyone else that might be watching at home, pick up the phone and give us a call. Lisa thinks he is in a position of right, where we all feel more to find. Well, we've got a tweet here from Dave who says, as a male constituent of... So, a female's probably not very happy. Uh, but on the phone, we have Esri from South Wales. Hello there, Esri. Very, uh, very well put, Esri. Well, Rachel's got an interesting point here, saying, I have zero issues with journalists looking at his back catalogue now. Mm. Uh, we've got Ray on the phone next from Hertfordshire. Hello there, Ray. Um, yeah, now what do you... Well, just going on the lying thing, so Jay tweets us saying, I wouldn't want this man representing... Sex, doesn't it? That really sort of says it all, in a way. Shall we leave the violence mega... Well, it's your views and your stories that we really want to hear, so you can head to Facebook or Twitter and search for The Right Stuff. You could also email us, therightstuff at channel5.com, but it's those calls that we really want. So that number is 0207 862 and I'll repeat that so you can make a note. It's 0207 862 Calls from landlines may cost up to 13 pence per minute, plus any calls set up fees and calls from mobiles may be considerably more. But you could always text us, just put TWS, followed by your comment, and send that to 85525. Text will cost 25 pence plus your standard network charge, but remember we've far too many for them all to be seen on screen. Storm pets for them all to be seen on screen. Storm, thanks very much. An awful lot's been going on. So, mixed bag online. Rachel tweeted saying, I think it's great. My two were taught, let kids be kids. They are soon made aware of the horrors of life. On the line, he's got a differing opinion. Well, Robbie actually thinks this idea is reasonably good, saying, we all know children can be cruel. So, Candice actually touches on this, saying, if the noise could only... I mean, the thing is that... We, yeah, we don't know. I don't know. What, what happens if the children are listens on consent? <laughs> <laughs> I got Christine from Hampshire on the line. Hello there, Christine. First, though, here are your messages on our discussions so far. And what fabulous messages they have been. So we're going to head right back up to the top of the show when we asked you if you thought that MP Andrew Griffiths should quit over his sexting scandal. Hell tweeted, uh, what do you make of those kids, kids at four, as young as four being taught about consent in school? Stephen thinks this is really. Would you play an alarm that only under 25s can hear in order to keep your neighbour's kids in check? Cherry sent us a cracking message here. Oh my god. Would you play an alarm that only under 25s can hear in order to keep your neighbour's kids in check? Cherry sent us a cracking message here. Oh my god. It's not. It'll probably just damage their hearing. Uh, it's great to hear from so many of you today. And as always, just a reminder if you'd like to be part of our live studio audience, then all the information is on our Facebook page. Just type in the right stuff. I swear, it would keep your own kids away, wouldn't it? But that really would be cruel, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, how many? It would keep your own kids away, wouldn't it? But that really would be cruel, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, how many? people online talking about this. So, uh, Tanya tweets about Megan from Love Island. It's sad. She- that's very judgmental. We don't you're imagining.